Hello guys, welcome back to Mufasuket with SolidWork 3D Modeling Project Exercise number one. And also don't forget to subscribe our channel here. It will be helpful for us to growing up. In this uh, tutorial, I will create a 3D gear. You can see the image here, and you can get this uh, reference image from our site mufasuket.com. Okay, we start now. Open your SolidWorks software. Click a sketch tab here and click sketch. And I will choose a top line. I will create a three circle from here to here, from here to here, and then from here to here. We give a dimension for the circle about 200, 200, okay, and uh, this is a circle about 170, okay, and then distance from the circle to the circle in here about 11 and enter. Next, I will create line. From here to here, right click, select, create a line again. From here to here, right click, select, create a line again. From here to here, right click, select, and the last line from here to here, right click, select. You can zoom in and select uh, this uh, line object and change to the construction line. You can click here. Okay, next I will give a uh, degree. From uh, this line to this uh, line in here about 2.5 okay and uh, this line to this line in here about 5 degree and the last is we click uh, this line and this line we give a uh, 9 degree and enter okay you can zoom in again and I will create a RC here with a 3 point RC you can click here and select uh, from here to here and then click in here we give a uh, dimension radius for this uh, IRC here about 15 okay and then use uh, trim command here to cut uh, in here cut uh, in here okay we cut in here and next we cut uh, in here okay here okay, here we cut in here and here I will create a line from here to here to center point here right click select select uh, this line and change to the construction line and then I will use a uh, violet command here select uh, this object with a uh, radius here about one and then select uh, this object you can see and then click here to finish you can zoom in select uh, this object and delete Okay, you can zoom out again. I will use a mirror command. You can click here, mirror entities, and select uh, this uh, all object. For the mirror about, you can click here, and you can see the result here, and okay to finish. Next, I will use a circular pattern. You can click here, and click here, circular sketch pattern. Select uh, the object. You can select uh, this uh, all object here. Okay, we select uh, this uh, all object can zoom in and select here here and then we select here okay and next I will change uh, the quantity here about 20 okay you can see the result here and okay to finish we use uh, extrude command you can click here extrude boss to extrude uh, this object in here about 25 and okay and click here to finish select uh, this face we create a uh, circle sketch and circle from the center point here okay in here with uh, dimension here the circle about 100 okay and we extrude again the circle 5 point 5 you can change here to 5 and okay and okay to finish the extrude command Next, we select uh, this face again and we create a circle from uh, the center point here with a dimension about 80 and OK. Is the is to the cut here and select uh, this arrow to the bottom here and then OK to finish uh, the command. Next, we use a violet here. You can select uh, this edge in here. OK, we select uh, this edge and then this edge. And then change uh, the radius of the violet is about one and okay 
can see the result here and click here to OK and finish the file at comment. Next, we will apply a material to the object. You can select uh, in here and select the appearance. I will select a plastic here and choose the height glossy. You can select uh, the material here. I will use a red uh, high glossy plastic. Click here and move uh, to here and close. Okay. And then I will active the photo view. You can click here and click here. And then select uh, the photo view 360 here. And OK. You can see the render tools here. And we select the skin illumination. You can click the skin illumination. We're waiting for uh, rendering passes. Okay, and you can select uh, this uh, rendering view. I will select uh, this rendering view and then okay. I will change the edit scan here and select uh, the basic scan for uh, backdrop studio ROM 2 here. Click here and drop uh, to the background here. Okay, and then we click here to finish the edit scan select uh, the scan illumination again and you can choose the best view for the rendering i will choose uh, this view and okay move uh, this object to the left here and then i will change uh, the view into uh, isometric you can click here and change here to the isometric and i will move uh, this object to the left here zoom in and we try to preview windows render you can click here and waiting for a rendering process until finish okay you also can pause here if uh, this image already got a view for the rendering result Okay, I think it's enough today for SOLIDWORKS 3D Modeling Practical Exercise number 1. If you have any question, you can comment below this video. And see you next time in SOLIDWORKS 3D Modeling Practical Exercise number 2.